All right, today we're going to talk about the collab units in each of the demonic beasts. We're going to separate that in a separate video because I don't feel like having a 50 minute montage of fighting all of the beasts at once. So I'm not going to talk about the first three floors of bird because I'm sure by now we can all figure out how to do that and how we got here. We're looking at transcendent floor four of bird. Okay, we're running Shion, Milam, Thor, and Megelda. We got a full unknown comp. They are all on attack crit damage because everyone's doing damage. We're not doing HP. We don't really have any supports like that. You know, everybody's supporting each other. This is a team, this is a family, okay? So the links are pretty good across the board. I would say if you've got like a 4-6 like a sob knock, that could go on Thor better than that melee. The card set's going to be the deer set, 15% attack related to all of our unknowns here. So that's going to be our setup. We'll go ahead and jump into it. So if you're like me, it's probably been a while since we actually have done this. So we'll go ahead and talk about it, you know, figure out how we need to get through this together. So we're going to start off by using our shitty cards, right? We've got a double Amplify we can get rid of because we don't have a lot of stacks. Get rid of that. And we can start building up Thor's Lightning. So we'll use uh, Thor's not uh, extra damage card there. And the idea for Phase 1 is to get three Silver cards because that's how we progress through Phase 2. Now we're still doing pretty good damage. It's about 40% HP. Do we get any Mergers? Yes, we have a Shion Merge. Uh, and then we got our Amplifies back. Actually, we got every card we just used back. So, this won't be too much, uh, too much damage coming out from us again, but we could most likely kill in three turns. Do I want to get rid of any of this? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go with no. Just cause, uh... I feel I want I don't want to do too much damage. We have space to stall, we should take it. We're gonna have to cleanse on this next turn. Okay, we got a Milla Merger and my amp cards again. Really wants me to have these. Block skill. Okay, so we have three debuffs on Millum and Shion, and then we have two debuffs on Thor and Mac. Gelda. I want kind of want to kill because he's about to kill. So what I could do is cleanse. Actually, no. It'd be easier to drop my single targets. Let's see if that kills here. We don't have ult drain. Uh, technically, you don't need it. We could probably tank. Everyone's also lock skilled though. At least until we get three. Is it three? No, it's. I think it might be three single targets. Three single targets removes two debuffs. I believe that's Shion's Relic. Let me double check that. Oh, we got our two rank two, so we're chilling anyways. Yeah, three single targets removes two debuffs. That's also how we get our crit chance and crit damage buff. So, we're going to triple silver. That's going to give us our shield. And with the shield up, we can actually deal decent damage to Bird while negating... Like some. Not a whole lot. I believe his AoE will also miss, as long as we have the shield up. So the goal here is to basically kill uh, through the duration of the shield, if possible. Obviously it's going to drop on some people. It might stay up on others. You can triple silver to reapply it. I think we'll cleanse here, just because uh, Shion's getting low. So we'll do that. We can double ults. Um... She's got Divine Lightning, whatever nonsense, so we'll go ahead and make it rain here. That should be some pretty good damage, probably not killing, but we, I don't think we'll need to triple silver again. So, to set up for phase three, right, so he's got ten immortality buffs, what we're going to want to do is keep all of our Thor cards, uh, and then keep all of our Amplify and our Power Strike cards. Just basically all of Thor's kit, obviously, all of Shion's kit, Half of Meg's kit, and then zero of Milim's kit. So we're free to burn the Milim cards. Um, he's ulting here. I could... can't put the shield back up. I think what we're going to do is just try to kill here. I uh, don't really want to burn both of those. And all these are good cards for the next phase. I could just burn this Thor card and get it right back because of her ult, so it's kind of like a trade. Our damage is gone, so we probably need to proc the shield again. 
Yeah, damage is awful. I'm not sure how long his uh, resistances drop. I believe it's correlated to the shield. So, uh... Oh, that damage isn't that bad. We do have two silver, or three silvers we can burn. So we'll merge his heal, we'll amplify. Oh, actually, I have to spend two turns merging. Maybe we just kill through it. See how much it matters. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Yeah, we're, he's definitely a lot tankier, but no big deal. We're getting there. The Thor ult tanks. Or he doesn't tank from that, I should say. Alright. Let's look at the card draw. Pretty good, actually. Works in our favor. So we have Power Strike, Ampl... <coughs> Sorry. Power Strike, Amplify, Power Strike, Lend it with a Thor card, right? So you want to end these, uh... End your turns with a Thor card. It'll get rid of his, uh... Damage increase that he gets here. Basically, when you don't... I think it's when you don't attack... Uh, with one of the moves. I forget which which one it is. I thought before it was when you don't attack with Thor, and then Thor is the only one that can turn that off. But it looked like it didn't apply on our first power strike. So that could be the secret. But uh, Meg's ult is power strike. We're chilling there. Got another Amplify. And we can double Thor, and I guess we'll take a gold heal. Why not? And he's technically dead much sooner than we can get rid of the immortality buffs. But we'll be able to kill all three, sorry, two, this next turn, and then burn our, our shitter cards, like this Milamaoe. Do we pop the gold heal? Obviously, that's much, much greater than we'll probably need. And he's surprisingly deciding to switch up on his targeting. I guess we got one debuff we can cleanse. Fuck it. What do we want to do? Uh, we just need to double double up here. So amp that. And we'll power strike there. Burn the AoE and get the merge on the obliterate. That'll be a good way to round that out. So we have a Thor card. Do I have any ults? I don't think so. Yeah, no ults. Okay, so for phase four, now because this team technically doesn't have buff removal, you have to kill relatively fast, like within two turns, I want to say. Because once he starts doing that, he stacks evasion, right? This team has no way to deal with that, but that's fine. So what we're going to do is just try to coordinate uh, getting ults. We have double Thor, which will work nicely. Um, we can heal to get both Meg and Shion's card, Shion's ult. And then, I guess we just obliterate. Put a point on uh, on Milam in case we need to go that third turn. But I don't think we will if we're triple ulting. The heal was wrong. I should have did that first, right? Because it gives you the all stats increase. Ooh. But when the crit chance and pierce buff hits from Xion's passive... I keep saying pierce. It's crit and crit. I'm mean, am... Uh, yeah. Anyways. Oh yeah, there's that. I forgot what that does. I'm pretty sure you don't want that to get to... I want to say 7. And then you basically... I think they... Was it similar to... Oh, wait, here he goes. Da -da 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 -da. They take a bunch of erosion. Or corrosion. You have 500,000. When they get to 7. So she immediately went to 6. That's crazy. That's actually so crazy. Uh, but we just went here. Boop. Don't need Melamolt. Oh, 518. Didn't look like it moved his health at all. Thor's gonna pop off here, though. 700k. Shion's gonna get the kill. Wait, what the heck? Is that damage gap? 700k on the rank, too. It was actually mad. But that is gonna be the collab team for Bird. 4-4. If you guys like it, drop a thumb. Maybe so, if you're into that. And I'll see you in the next one.